know, eliminating, you know, toxic people you love, rather if it's eliminating, you know, um, bad habits, you know what I mean? It, mm -hmm. it just comes down to a lot of that, bro. So um, right now, I'm just, you know, I'm really more focused on just... I love this guy. This guy's giving me so much content. Right <laughs> balling, balling, money on top of me falling, money don't stop when we yelling, never gonna flop, now you crawling, balling, balling. Money on top, but we fine. Yo, <laughs> welcome everyone to another 20 minute chats with Galaxy Boy. Today, we have a very anticipated interview, you know, at least by me. I don't know about you guys, but man, you know, the. I'm going to say it, King of Tops. <laughs> the King of Tops is here, at least one of them, man. You know, shout out Dave, shout out Big Tom, shout out everyone out there. Um, this man, it, you know, just like, you know, Dre, you know, he's been putting in work too, man. Like, he, what, he knocked out like two albums in one year? Yeah, bro. Two albums in one year. That shit, that shit was not, oh shit, my bad, bro. That shit was, I'm going to be like Dre, bro. I know you like when Dre was speaking into yeah, the mic, right. so I want to be like Dre too, so no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, hold up, hold up. But, um, we did do an interview during the, the COVID, um, you know, year. Um, uh, if you guys want to check that out, link in bio or... Subscri subscription description um dude did like a two two and a half hour interview but um but yeah that's where we go over origin stories and stuff like that him ha having a, a beef battle in middle school which was crazy um but no if you guys want to do all that this is not an origin interview this is just a catch-up interview and just you know diving deep in, in some stuff we've been i've been wanting to talk to you about but no further ado am is in the building <laughs> love you guys <laughs> oh man how you doing brother pretty good bro pretty good man it's so crazy too because this is, believe it or not you guys this is literally our only like second time like actually seeing each other in person so it's like it's it's cool like i never doubted the vibes at all so it's like you're <laughs> originally the same person that i talked to on the phone and everything so i know it sucks and you know being someone different in person and like they just actually no yeah for sure like for sure I've, I've come across a lot of people like that man it's just it's not. It's not for me. <laughs> you, you, all right, cool. I'm getting paranoid with the microphone. I'm like, I don't really hear this guy. But no, let's uh, let's dive in, man. Um, fucking, how you been, man? Oh, I'm cool, bro. I'm cool right you now. New, you just got a new kid in the, in the building. Yeah, bro. I mean, for those who don't know, um, I'm a father of two now. Uh, I got a I got a girl, uh, Madeline. She's four. Uh, she turned four in November, and then I, I'm about to have a, a one year old, uh, my boy, uh, Dale. Uh, he turned one on February second, so literally coming up, and it's nice. crazy. It's 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 been it's been it's been it's been a challenging you know experience for me. You know, uh, given the fact that you know I've gone through a lot of different you know personal situations, um, but you know what? I'm I'm maintaining it. Um, I'm keeping a positive mentality. You know, that's that's really all I can do in uh, in this situation. But you know, um, I'm just you know I'm looking forward just to like constantly growing, not only as an artist, but you know as a person, as a parent. Most important, most importantly, um, and you know just trying to make sure you know everything kind of falls in the cracks as smoothly as possible you know mm -hmm. so um it's not easy you know what i mean it's not really it's not easy being a parent i mean especially if you're a mother you know what i mean so mm -hmm. I, I give my props to, to single mothers out there and you know mothers in general but um it's cool man you know me uh you know just focusing a lot on family um i'm, I'm really I, I really prioritize myself now mm -hmm. um you know just because you know i know that i look back at you know where I was, you know, a year, two ago, you know, three years ago. And, you know, I, I really just want to make sure that, like, I'm in a better position, you know, because me personally, you know, I, I take a lot of self-blame uh, when it comes to, like, me being where I feel like I should be. Mm. Uh, so I feel like, you know, I really should be at a, at a more stable, more you know, a uh, guaranteed position. So right now I've just kind of been working my ass off, you know, mm -hmm. trying to make sure that um, I'm putting not only myself, but my kids and my family in more stable positions. Mm -hmm. Taking and responsibility. Taking so. taking more responsibility, you know what I mean? We, we, we grow every day as humans, you know. Yes, we do, we, we learn something new every day. So it's kind of, I'm just kind of being a, a sponge right now, you know, and kind of absorbing, you know, all these different adult tactics and you know things that you know a fucking girl. help help you grow bro <laughs> you know not only that though but you know i have been uh i have been working on music uh i took i would say 
probably like six months, bro. Six, seven. You good six. I, I took a good six, seven months off uh, <laughs> recently, bro. And, you know, uh, I really do regret it, you know. But like I said, you know, it does fall back on me, you know, because because of the fact that I, I have to take this time off of music because I'm not in a, in a stable position for myself. So it's like, you know, it comes kind of comes back to the whole prioritizing type of thing, you know. Mm. But, you know, uh, I can say, you know, when, when I do come back and when I do start dropping things like that, which I have been, you know, for, for those who kind of keep intact, you know, mm. I've been dropping a lot of a lot of packs before the year ended. Mm. Um, I really wanted to end 2021 with, with a bang, bro, honestly. Like, mm. so I just wanted to make sure everything I had in the vault, I wanted to make sure all that shit was out. You know yeah, what I mean? I, I I had to, I just wanted to make sure that I, I cleared the vault out, bro, before the year Check ended. Check out in the description. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to make sure, bro, because you know what? You know, it's, it's a new year, you know what I mean? I mean, I know a lot of people say it's like a corny thing, the whole new year, new me thing. Mm. I mean, I mean, I'm never really said like the whole new year new me yeah, type yeah. of thing you know it's it's the That's same it's shit. it's the same me you know <laughs> you just you just you know there's nothing wrong with change you know what i mean it doesn't have to be a new year in order for you to make a change you know what i mean it doesn't have to be a certain type of occasion you know or a certain type of lesson you learn to where you want to make a change you know you should you should chase change every day and yeah. my in my in my perspective you know rather if it's you know eliminating you know toxic people you love rather if it's eliminating mm. you know um bad habits you know what i mean it, mm -hmm. it just comes down to a lot of that bro so um right now i'm just you know i'm really more focused on just i love this guy this guy's giving me so much content right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know right now right now bro i'm just focused i'm really focused on family and uh and music bro and you know um you know i have a lot of i have a lot of support you know not only not only from family but you know a lot of friends you know the community itself mm -hmm. um and it's it's really cool bro it's it's really cool you know the fact that i've yeah, I've you've uh, let, let's be a perfect transition. Uh, have you garnered attention from you know high uh, high, high quality artists like Dre, M Status, yeah. Wise? You yeah. know how's that feel to you know get that recognition from you know some very talented people? It's it's so crazy, bro. Because it's like people like Wise, like back in like 2016, 2017, Wise, Dre, um, Anders. You know all these guys that they, they became like role models to me, bro. Mm -hmm. Like I looked at them and and I saw like you know, the spark that they had and I saw the attraction that they gained off of what they were doing. And when I start before anybody even knew about AM before I even dropped anything, my goal was like, you know what? Cause I know a lot of people it's like, yo, like, okay, I'll just reach out. I'll just DM like, Hey, let's work. We got to do this. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm so this, like, you know, like I'm hot on the mic. You should give me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That wasn't me. I, my, I hate that shit. <laughs> my ideas, my idea from, from, from the start, bro, is like, you know what? I'm gonna make I'm gonna make them see me. You know what I mean? I'm gonna make them see the potential I have. I'm I'm gonna do it for myself because at the end of the day they're gonna see that. And that's exactly what happened. You know, I ended up, you know, doing I ended up hooking up with Creos. We we dropped, you know, some bangers together. And then from then on, you know, Creos, he was like, you know, I, he really saw the spark. So he's like, you know, I wanna bring this guy on to the label. He pitched mm -hmm. me that idea. We started running mess room together. So it became for me being like this underground you know artist locally uh to kind of you know being partners with with you know for example dre you know wise you know all of these guys you know what i mean and it's so crazy bro because like i i look at it now and it's like yo like my ideas you know my confidence and everything it really came a long way because i can literally just text these guys now you know yeah, and, uh, it goes from like damn like what's your snapchat or like damn i'm scared of snapchat no like i can literally they're just a call or a text away from me i have status i got wise i got anders i got um who else you know blaze blaze in my phone contacts you know there's times where i have fucking con i have contact with blaze and like we're just talking bro like mm -hmm. for like an hour or two bro and and it's just it's just it's just crazy for me and to, people for me the same to believe energy. it. Yeah, bro, it's just so crazy because it's like, yo, like these people really know who I am. They really see, you know, you know what I'm what I'm onto. You know, they really see the vision. Yeah. And it's just like, it's just like an amazing feeling, bro, to have like the support from those people because, like I said, those are people that I, I looked up to. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. it's like, with me, I never really cared about at the beginning about working with them. Like for example, with Wise, bro, mm -hmm. our our relationship. You know, I got introduced to Wise because of Creos. You know what I mean? So that's how I found out about Wise. And when when our relationship first started out, we were just like um, 
just talking, bro. Like, I didn't even bother asking for a feature and nothing like that. Same thing with Blaze, bro. Like, I know, I know I've had multiple conversations with Blaze, and Blaze is telling me, like, you know what, nephew? You know, I, I got to tell you, you know, I'm really impressed. I'm really surprised. You know, most of the time when I talk to, to young artists like you and things like that, he goes, even they'll, he goes, I won't even have a conversation. A lot of people will just message me telling me like, yo, I got a song for the radio. Like, this is the next hit for the radio. You got to put this on the radio, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm so this, you know, I'm so that. And, you know, what? he he's he's explained, you know, like kind of his frustrations about that because of the fact that, you know, status gets on the radio a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, you know, he's he, status is someone who, who works his ass off. You know what I mean? If Blaze was telling me that, like, if you link up with stats, he can show you like multiple albums that he just has in the vault you know mm -hmm. what i mean and things like that so it's like status he works his ass off you know what i mean to get where he's at and everybody thinks that status is given that opportunity mm -hmm. you know what i mean everybody thinks that like oh you know status he automatically has that privilege because he's you know signed with blades things like that but that's mm -hmm. not the case you know what i mean um with blades blades has explained to me you know a couple times that you know like he likes the fact that like Cause when I have a conversation with them, I don't talk to them. I don't mention the radio, nothing like that. Mm. I don't. All I ask for is is advice. I'm always seeking. Like I said, I'm a sponge. You know, I'm always asking, like, man, what can I? Be a sponge. I'm always asking, like, what can I do, bro? Like, what should I do? I've always, I always send him, you know, tracks, videos, things like that, and he's telling me, like, nephew, you got to do this, you got to try that, because if you're not doing this, then you're not gonna get that, you know, things like that. So it's 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 crazy, man. It's crazy. Like our mine and Blaze's relationship is like an uncle nephew, you know, relationship. And if people don't know who Blaze is, he's a very, you know, he's a legend up in Yakima, man. He's like, an icon, he, bro. He's, he's he, his voice is, you know. Legendary, but go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah, a it's just a lot, a lot of people were tripping like off of the fact that like I had him narrate the City of Muriel's album. Which, yeah, man. Yeah, let's go. In, let's go into that, man. Uh, um, you know, uh, if people don't know the City of Muriel's an amazing album from top to bottom and well structured. And um, no, how how the how do you get Blaze? How do you even come come in contact with Blaze to um, narrate this? And how did you pitch the idea? So at that time when I was working on that album. Um, I was already in a close relationship with Status, you know what I mean? Mm. Status, he really saw the vision, you know, we we had, a, we had a click, you know what I mean? That it just, where it's just always a vibe every time we talk, you know, things like that. So um, I reached out to Status and I told him, I was like, yo, bro, like, by any chance, like, do you have Blaze's number? Does he have a Snapchat? Like, how can I get a hold of him? You know what I mean? I, I was like, I have an idea. I was like, I just want to reach out to him. And then Status actually ended up telling me, like, yo, bro, it's like, that's that's perfect because I was like, straight up, he goes, Blaze has brought you up a couple times. Oh, shit. So, so when he said that, I was like, what? Like, you know, like, <laughs> he really, like, he actually, like, knows about me. He's like, yeah, bro. He goes, he goes, a lot, actually, like, a couple of people, you know, f within our circle have mentioned you. Oh, wow. And he's mentioned you to me. And um, I was like, that's so crazy, bro. I was like, I was like, so I was like, you know, just, just tell him to get a hold of me, you know, give him my number. I gave him my number. And eventually he exchanged that with, with Blaze. And then I ended up getting a call from Blaze that same day. And he's just like, he's like, yo, he goes, is this, you know, is this Am Armando? And I'm like, I'm like <laughs> yeah, man. I'm like, what's up, bro? Like, how you doing and everything? He goes, and just right off the bat, you know, he started telling me like, yo, he goes, I've seen your work. He goes, I, he goes, this, I watched your, vi your video, one of your videos. And I'm like, damn, this motherfucker can slow it down. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like he just, he just really liked, you know, like the kind of, content i was bringing when it come down when it came down to my music you know mm -hmm. the you know the topics that I, that i brought you know just cadences things like that he was just telling me you know i really love your delivery things like that and so he was like so blade uh, so blaze says he goes yo he goes so stat stats told me that you know you had an idea and i'm like yeah man i'm like so look i'm working on this album uh, at the time it was probably like about i'd say 60 to 70 percent done mm. and um getting blaze to narrate was one of the last things that like i wanted to touch up on but i was just so eager to reach out and kind of explain the idea i just had a feeling like you know like he has to love this idea like it's 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 golden so i i explained him the whole idea of the city of murals album what that album represents the the title what the title represents in general um and he loved it like right off of the bat 
And he's like, I love that. He goes, when do we start? What do you need me to do? What do you need from me? So I just told him, like, honestly, bro, like, I just need you to narrate this whole album, bro. Like, literally, like, just, just give me, give me, like, like two minutes of you just saying some, like, confident, like, you know, just saying some real shit, bro. And at first I thought, I was like. Did you when, write what he was going to say? Or no, did I didn't. I didn't write what he was going to say. No way. I didn't write what he was no going to say. And the crazy thing is, if you listen to the narration, he's, like, rhyming. Mm. He's rhyming in the it's narration. Like po- poetry. Like poetry, like a fucking free verse type shit. Mm. I didn't ask him to do that. No he, way. He came up with that, that idea on his own. No fucking way. My original idea was that I just wanted him to, you know, say like, you know, motivational shit, talk about Toppenish, what it's like, where we're from, mm. you know, just narrate, you know, what our what our town is about, what Hold we're up, from. Hold up, Let me restart this camera just just in case this shit comes out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, we're, uh, but no, you're as you were saying, Blaze just kind of wrote that himself the whole narration yeah bro the whole narration he wrote it and recorded it at the at the hot 99.7 station no shit. so that the whole recording of him talking all that that was recorded at the the radio station damn because his narration brings the album together exactly in, in right. the whole concept and i love that about the album throughout you know the the sections that his that he's speaking because you know i i I relate to that. I relate to, you know, the the cousins that are in jail and, you know, going down this path and, and going down this other path, you know, and, and choosing where, where you go. And then, it, you know, and I don't know, just the whole concept of it. Yeah, bro. I, I just explained to him, you know, I, I really wanted, you know, like an iconic, you know, very, very kind of like detailed you know, narration, like, about, just about Toppenish in general, like, what it's like, where we're from, and everything, you know, because it's like a, I guess you could say that album, the whole narration part is kind of like a if you know, you know, mm. type of if type of know, thing, you know. but I, I just, I, I love, like, how, like, people, it brings out the reality to people who aren't from Toppenish, you know what I mean, and that's, that's a big thing I aim for, because I know that I have these people who support me and know what I'm talking about from Toppenish, but not everybody does. So I kind of wanted to get that across like, yo, like I'm top, I'm, I'm from Toppenish. This is where I'm from. This is what it's like type of thing, you know? So, you know, he, Blaze just really loved the idea, the whole concept of the album, you know? And, um, I sent him, I also sent him like a couple tracks that were already done. Um, and he just, he loved it from the beginning. He just, he loved it from the beginning and he was, he was, he was, he was 100% willing to help, you know what I mean? And, you know, he didn't, he didn't charge me or nothing like that. No, you know, he just really saw the vision. He really loved, uh, the way it was put together, things like that. That comes from you working your ass off and, and, you know, eventually, you know, finding your sound and. You know, cutting that fucking, you know, that vision. No, out. yeah. And then it, the the universe bringing that your way, man. Yeah, bro. So it, it was crazy, man. Like, a, a lot of these artists that, like, I, I've reached out to or that, like, I've dreamt of working with, uh, it just led to them eventually, you know, seeing, you know, seeing the, the work I was putting in, seeing in, like, you know, the vision, you know, saying, like, yo, like, this kid's really dope, I, you know, especially because I take, I have, a, you know, I took a stand behind what I was doing with music because, you know, I've been, I there's been times where I've been turned down, like, from artists, like, multiple times or where it's, like, like, yo, like, they're trying to charge me and, like, let's, and at that time, I don't have the money, whatever, you know, fin- fin- finances aren't right, um, so I kind of, kind of took a toll of, like, making sure, like, you know what, like, I know that I want to be a different kind of artist, you know, and I, you know, I, I, even today, I feel like I haven't even, you know, reached, you know, the, the pinnacles I plan to reach, you know, mm-hmm. so it's like, like, I don't really think with, like, charging and things like that, like, that's not for me, not right now, at least, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? There's been times where it's like, if it comes down to artists that, like, that are actually doing something for themselves, who actually made a name for themselves and doing like that, then it's like, it's free work, you know what I mean? Like, I got to say, like, with Dre, Dre doesn't charge me for features. Status, he doesn't charge me for features and things like that. And I'm not saying this because, like, you know, I don't want the people to think, like, oh, well, if he doesn't charge him, then why is he charging me? No, you know, it's just like, like I said, I've worked my ass off to kind of get myself to that to that point, you know, to, to allow, as a mutual. allow them to see me, you know, like, yo, like, this kid can do something for me, you know what I mean? So I've kind of want I've kind of brought that energy like along the whole way, and and they do de- they do deserve to get paid. I'm not saying they don't, you know, but I'm just saying it's just a, it's just a it's show. A, it's a humble thing. Love. Yeah, it's a humble thing for me because you know I'm explaining. You know, like I worked 
you know, my ass off to kind of get to where I am right now. And they see that. So they show their respects, like, by saying, like, yo, because like, they've worked there let, yeah, like, like, let's just do this. You know what I mean? Like, we both have something to offer each other. So why not? Why not? You know, do something with it, you know? So mm. I have a lot of respects for, you know, for Dre, for 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 stats, for Blaze, Wise, all these guys, man, mm. you know, because, you know, they, they really did lift me up, you know, in, 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 a, in a big way, you know, and it's just it's just amazing like it's an amazing feeling bro to just kind of have that kind of support from people who are like because if you think if you look at who dre is dre's like you know what i mean she has a big announcement coming Mm -hmm. who knows what that announcement is you know what i mean but i know it's big and i know that it's it's gonna allow her to skyrocket from here same thing with status you know what i mean Mm -hmm. but it's just cool one thing it's not the free collabs that like makes me have their respect more or want to work with them more it's simply the fact that like we all share like an origin story mm-hmm. like with Dre, you know, Anders, all those Six Mag, all those guys, you know, their origin story is, is Mizzy, you know, Mizzy passed away, RIP to Mizzy, um, you know, but when when that happened with Mizzy, I was barely discovering who Mizzy was. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't have discovered Dre, Six Mag, all these guys if it wasn't for Mizzy. Mizzy. You know what I mean? And, and, and it sucks, bro. It sucks, bro, because like. He's you, not, he's not you able hear, to be here to see the Yeah, you though. you hear Dre, you hear Six talk about Mizzy so much, man. It's like Seven. It's yeah. like, bro, it's like if he was here right now, you know what I mean? Like you can't imagine like w- what they would be doing they at this put point. Him on a pedestal. Exactly, it's, it's exactly, like bro. And it's like same thing with me. So Mizzy was the one who kind of got them all into the music thing, brought them all around. The same thing with me with one of my homies. They lost a homie and I lost a homie too that mm-hmm. brought me into this music shit. You know what I mean? So that's kind of something I related to off of the bat. Um and so you know, once I started kind of, you know, leveling up, you know, with these videos and songs and things like that I was dropping, I had reached out to uh, to Six Mag for the Rodeo song mm. on, on the City of Murals album. Yeah. And um, I told him, like, yo, bro, like, a hook and a verse, whatever you can lay down. He ended up delivering a hook and a verse. Mm. So we were, we had already had a song done mm. for the City of Murals album, which was the... The yeah, I Might song. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, it was the yeah, I Might song. So we're in Seattle, right? We're in Seattle to to um, to shoot the video for I Might. Well, while we're in Seattle, I got a producer up there named Kodo. Um, he's really tapped in. He works at Studio Sage up mm-hmm. there in Seattle. And um, I was up there, and, and I hit up Kodo, and I'm like, hey, bro, like, you know, do you know any dope spots? You down to link up and show us some dope spots, you know, like around Seattle that we could film. And he was, it was very late, you know, I'll be honest. It, it was kind of a late uh, message. And so he, he tried to get that, that day off from work so that way he could link with us. But unfortunately, he wasn't able to get it off. So he tells us, you know, like, yo, like, I can't make it, but I'll send you these addies of places you can go, things like that. Cool, love. Then he ends up telling me, he's like, yo, he goes, so I got this beat. He goes, he goes, are you a six mag right now? And I'm like, yeah. I was like, well, I was like, we're chilling right now. We're just looking for locations. And then he goes, yo, so I, I got this beat that I have with um, with one of Moses, Lil Moses producers, Callan. Mm. And he's like, so he goes, it'd be dope if you and six mag hop on this track. Mm. And I'm like, all right, bet. So he sent the beat over. We're in the car driving to these locations. And then we play the beat. And I tell Six, and I'm like, yo, bro, like, Kodo wants us to hop on this shit. And I was like, like this beat's from Callan. Mm. And then, what's it called? Because they, like, both, like, worked on it together. Mm. So it didn't have the Callan tag mm. at first, but I did bring it up to, to uh, Kodo. I'm like, yo, bro, is there any way we can get Callan's tag on there? Like, that shit would be dope, because everybody knows, you mm. know, Callan's tag from the Blueberry Fago song. Like, mm. Damn, Callan, damn, Callan. Mm. Well, unfortunately, we couldn't get the tag and that exact format because they had it was a different producer who like who fucked with his tag and did it like that mm. so we ended up just having his original tag oh, shit. yeah so um so we got we got on that rodeo beat bro and we ended up we ended up getting that out and and rodeo is probably the best song like it's literally the, the top song like mm. on my apple and everything bro that's the most streamed song so it, it was Damn, I didn't even know about that about, about the beat. It's crazy, bro. It it is it is crazy, bro, how that came how that came along. 
So it's like the more we worked, like the more traction we gained, the more opportunities we got. This is dope. Um, one last thing before we start wrapping this thing up, I want to ask you about mastery. It, it, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a, a you know interview without asking the you know co owner of Messy Room, <laughs> how's Messy Room, and what how's Messy Room, and where do you see Messy Room going from here? Um, your goals for it right now, man. Uh, I gotta say. You know, messy room right now, you know, we haven't, everybody's got their own lives. You know, it is, it is exactly like how Dre was explaining it in her interview. You know, everybody's got their own shit going on. But um, it doesn't take away from the chemistry we have. It really doesn't. You know, I got to say it's it's probably been like a year since we've all linked up, like, mm. as a label, as a group. Um, but, you know, nothing's changed. You know, we still got that brotherly love. You know, we're still a family, things like that. Right now, you know. Uh, Krios, he's he's doing his own thing, you know, working. He's he's dropped like about, I think he's dropped like two little albums recently. Mm. Um, and then we're right now we're still working on the on the messy room sessions EP. Mm. Um, it's just kind of it's just kind of been a little we're hard lately. Get your shit together. We 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 kind of we we just uh you know we just understand you know a lot of people have a lot of different things going on um you know certain people prioritize different things so mm. um it's not it's not nothing too much going on with us I will say though I will say because we'll probably announce um this announcement it's before probably be in two weeks be- I'm dropping yeah it okay cool so um we at Messy Room is actually we're hosting our very first show no shit our very very first own show where it's all of, where literally Messy Room is the headliner oh nice so uh, we will be doing that um, it'll be happening in in a couple months okay. that's what I'll say for sure a couple months and it's supposed to take place at Bearded Monkey oh I nice believe. That's, a, that's a dope spot yeah so uh, we'll, uh, right now Tony's working Tony's got the flyer already we just haven't announced yet and then um he's uh working on tickets too Mm because we're gonna be selling tickets which they're only gonna be 10 bucks we're not gonna be uh doing nothing crazy um but the show to get people out there get the get the name out there right now right now we're really focused on on shows on doing Mm -hmm. shows so that's That's how you build a fan base man. yeah bro so that's what we're doing we did the bully bash you know a couple months ago Mm -hmm. that was that was a success we had a pretty good turnout um so it was a lit show. We saw what we did, what what we did over there. So we we're like, you know, fuck it, bro. Like, why not do more, do way more shows? You know what I mean? Mm. So right now, our big focus is kind of on getting more shows. Um, right now, um, I'm supposed to open up for for Paul Wall in March. Jeez, that's um, good. that'll be on March 5th. It lands on a Saturday. So show up. So pull up tickets if you need tickets. I got tickets already. You'll you'll see flyers around and everything. Yeah, the, the description. <laughs> but um, right now, our biggest focus is shows you know we're very focused on that's more fucking good that's on, what you're supposed to be doing. on more exposure um right now we have you know we all have a bunch of music that that we can have each other hop on and things like that mm-hmm. but you know like i said you know schedules just don't always align um the same so um right now nothing too much going on with mess room um mm-hmm. i i want to and and don't get your hopes up with this guys but i want to expand messy room mm-hmm. into something bigger um, but I do gotta, I do gotta make sure that all of us are in the right mindset. All of us are on the same page. So, uh, before I can even move forward with that, uh, you know, there's just certain things I have to clear up. But other than that, bro, messy room where, you know, all we're doing is working on music, you know, and, and shows. And we're also just looking for new collaborators too, that can really help us the same way we can help them. So yes. messy room, we're, we're we're really focused on on getting messy room more out there. Um, as of as of so far, you know everything's been everything's been good. You know we just really really need that that link, so <laughs> we can get shit done. You know what I mean and yeah. knock things out. Um, but Ain't you know, last shout out to him. I, I'm excited, man. Um, I'm excited for for everybody to watch this podcast. I'm excited for them to see, you know, what all of us bring. Not only for me, but for yourself too. Um, you know, and all we ask for is just your guys' support. That's that's literally all we need. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't cost money to to hit a share a share button. It doesn't cost money to hit a subscribe like button to comment. Nothing like that. You know, all we really need at this point. Because we've been t- we've been told multiple times by so many different people, mm-hmm. you know, at the bully bash, um, the guy who brought us out, 
he was telling us like you guys have everything you guys have everything the music everything you guys just need to you know put more money behind yourselves you guys need to invest more you know kind of understand the business more mm. and which it, which it, it is true because i i look at i look at what we have you know i look at what yeah i almost see has. how you're kind of like the business guy behind things uh maybe <laughs> tony tony I'll, I'll tony has done a really good job I'll, I'll tell i'll shout start off with that so i shout out big tone but tony has been doing a really good job you know um creos you know he's he's so busy he he doesn't have you know all the time to kind of dedicate to the label so like that's what i'm here for you know mm-hmm. what i mean but me you know i do have kids i do have my own priorities as well mm-hmm. i've explained my frustrations and things like that with tony so kind of so tony's kind of took that initiative and he's like you know what fuck it i'm gonna go get us these shows i'm gonna get us these opportunities which he has been because he got mm-hmm. us the bully bad show and he's the one who actually got us our own headline show at That's bearded it. monkey and then um me and him we're gonna be performing for paul wall so it's kind of like we're just like getting all these shows and be like hey bro i got this show this date let's do it you know what i mean That's we're sick, just man. getting shows and bring, bringing each other on bro we 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 move and work independently but when it comes to the, we move and work independently to for all of us if that makes sense yeah. you know what i mean we we work for all of us and we make sure that if if one of us has these opportunities we bring everybody else along on this opportunity you know what i mean oh yeah so um we're we're really we're really in the mindset of of being selfless at this point you know what i mean because you know selfishness does get you a long way but so does selfishness you know so yeah, yeah. sorry i didn't i didn't pronounce that no. right but <laughs> man <laughs> if, I, if i don't stop you you're gonna keep going for, for fucking I, am, hour. Bro, I, I am, love this bro. guy this guy's fucking just 60 minute chats coming soon 60 minute <laughs> chat coming soon <laughs> there's is, there's way more i could say you know i can get into depth of a lot of things but um you know what you know you just this is a 20 minute chat. We're just here for a quick rundown. <laughs> you know, you had you had your questions you wanted to ask and get out of the way, you know. Yeah. You know I'm an open book, so whatever you ask or anything, it, I'm going to give an honest answer, mm. whatever. Um, but no, bro, I, I appreciate you having me. Um, you know, shout out to shout out to everybody supporting. Shout out to the shout out to the Messy Room um, fam, you know, shout out to my boy Giver, RIP Giver right here. Um you know, and just shout out, shout out to the, shout out to all the artists out there, man. Like I see, there's so many artists that you brought on here that I've discovered and didn't know about until they came on here. Mm-hmm. Um, but I will say I have a lot of music coming with a lot of different people. <laughs> you know, I got Dark World coming on a track. He's already sent his shit in. Yeah. You know, I got Dre hey, on Hella Chat. I'm just sauce. saying, bro. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> if you really want to hear it, you know what I mean. It's coming. It's coming. You know what I mean. Um, mm-hmm. I will say though, I am working on my third album. So it'll be dropping this year for sure, for sure. Uh, I don't know if it'll be dropping, you know, right at the end of the year or a little before, but it's coming and it's it's gonna be different. It's gonna be different. I know I say that a lot, but it's <laughs> it's gonna be something. I'm telling you, it's different vibes. I mean, I might lose listeners from from how different it is, but I also know I'll gain more. So hey, well, thank you, brother, for coming here again. Fucking always love. You know, I'm gonna have to get like three three parts for you, bro. <laughs> I right. fucking go like, subscribe, fucking go check out his, all his projects, see your murals, you know, you Northwestern. Crawling, we out. Yeah. I just spin a couple bands on these two baddies at the bar. I won't put no one on blast, but the hoes know who they are. I say that to say I'm ballin'. Just followed my.